Shall we draw the Lewis structure of MgI2? Yes, let's. Magnesium is an alkaline earth metal. And in fact, anything to the left of this staircase on the periodic table is generally a metal. Hydrogen not included. Iodine is to the right of that staircase and is definitely a non-metal. When metals and non-metals combine together, you get an ionic compound. So we're going to be drawing an ionic Lewis structure here. Now, magnesium is in group two. That means it brings two valence electrons with it. Let's draw that Mg with its two dots. Iodine is in group 17. All of these atoms bring seven valence electrons with it. So draw your eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Notice how I spread them out before I started doubling them up. Now, Non-metals obey the octet rule. They want a full eight electrons in its outer shell. Now it has seven, which is close, but you need one more to complete the octet. So magnesium as a metal will gladly give it an electron. Now the iodine is stable and happy with eight electrons in its outer shell. But magnesium is unhappy. It still has one extra electron. Where is it going to go? If you give yourself a second iodine atom with seven valence electrons, that electron can go there. Magnesium will be left with none, ideal, and this iodine will also have a full octet of eight electrons. This shows how the bonding works, but let's draw the actual Lewis structure. Iodine now has eight electrons, that's one more than it started with. Remember, it started with seven. That means it has a charge of minus one. These square brackets represent the fact that it's an ion. And you're going to need to draw it twice because there are two iodines needed to absorb all the electrons that magnesium was giving away. That magnesium no longer has its electrons, so don't put any dots on it but do show that it gave away two electrons by giving it a plus two charge. This is my full and complete Lewis structure of magnesium iodide. Mg plus two, and then two I minus ones, complete with full outer shells. Fantastic. Now you may be able to take a shortcut here and show two times those iodines. That just saves you from having to write it out twice. Just don't forget to put your magnesium with the plus two charge there as well. Both of these should be valid and okay for full marks on a test, but confirm it with your teacher before you use a shortcut like that. Nice, thanks for being with me. That wasn't too bad. Go watch another one to review. Best of luck.